So I've got Daniel here and I've got Autumn here and they're just going to talk to you a little bit about what the point of going on a trip is, why it's a good thing. Um, they'll talk us through some of their experiences and also about the clubs that they partake in because they're both really busy people at school. Uh, so Autumn, you're in year seven yes. um, and you've been here nearly a year now. What have you been part of so far? Um, I've been part of choir, which is a really fun activity to do. And I also do after school compu computing club, which is really fun because you get to like play games with other people. But, and it's really fun working together on games. That does sound really good. Um, Dan, have you been part of a club after school? Um, I do athletics club and I do chess and cricket club, which is really good fun. I love sports, so obviously it's great to partake in out of school. And did you start when you first arrived in year seven? Oh, I did actually, yeah, yeah. I joined the clubs in year seven. They, it's nice to get a foundation with the clubs because then you know, get to know the teachers and it's just a nice experience to go up through the years. Yeah, that sounds good. And in terms of trips, what have you done, Dan? Uh, in year seven, I did the Opal Coast trip, uh, which was really good. We went to France and it was the first time I'd been away from a country without my parents, so it was a bit nerve-wracking, but after the first couple of days, it was fine. It was really good fun, actually. really enjoyed it. Yeah. And it can be quite a daunting thing, can't it? Being away from home, going to a foreign country. What would you say the benefits are? You're, you've been away in your primary school. What would you say the benefits? Um, I think for you, like, like, at the very start, it can be, like, very scary being away from your parents. But I think after a while, you get used to it. And it's really fun just, like, being away from your parents and enjoying time with your friends. Yeah, absolutely. How can you deal with the sort of worry about, oh, I'm going to feel homesick or... I'm not sure if this trip is really for me. I'd just be safer to stay at home. Well, if you have like supporting friends that like help you, I think that really helps. That is a really good idea. Dan, can you relate to any of that feeling of oh, it's a bit nerve wracking? Um, yeah, I, I was a bit scared and a bit anxious about going on the trip. So I, it was yeah, just a bit tricky for me. So I think definitely having the sense of friends and people around you that are really encouraging to you and help you get through those times. It's really good fun. Afterwards, it's yeah, really good fun. Really enjoyed it. And I think maybe there's an awful lot of people that are feeling the same way. Definitely. And some people might not show it, but I think everybody's yes. feeling a bit nervous. But once you get going and you're all together, there's a sense of everybody looking out for each other. Is that true to say, definitely. would you say, Dan? Yes. Definitely, 100%. Mm. Have you got any more trips planned that you want to go on? Um, I don't think I went on a trip this year, right? only because I had a couple of sporting events and I don't think I had the time. But in the future, I think I've got the Year 9's trip, so... I'll Will you be going on that? Definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah. How about you, Autumn? Have you got any trips coming up? Um, well, we've got the Opal Coast trip, which is going to be really fun, because I haven't been out of the country without my parents before, so I think that's going to be really interesting. It does, yeah. What a big, big moment. Uh, what are you looking forward to most about the trip? Um, I'm lo just looking forward to just, like, um, being away and just like almost like freedom being away from my family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Sounds great. Good morning, Ian. Good morning. Could you tell us what clubs you've mostly been involved in? Yeah, so um, I captained the under 19 football team this season um, and was involved last season. Um, we won the cup this year and last year. So, very successful year, very successful club, great community. Yeah, it's really good. And would you encourage people to join the team? 100%, yeah. So you can join in year 11, year 12 and year 13 because it's under 19, so everyone can get involved. Lots of people go to training. And yeah, it's just a great community. And have you partaken in any trips in your time at the Weald? Yeah, so I've done most of the trips. Obviously, Covid stopped the year 9 trip, but I did Opa Coast in year 7, went to uh, Belgium year eight and then obviously the big trip I went to Kenya uh, last year. Um, Kenya was amazing, um, it was probably the best experience I've had in my lifetime so far. It's three weeks, you go and build classrooms, um, meet the community out in Kenya um, and do absolutely everything out there just with the locals, it's amazing. Hi, I'm Annie. I went to um, France in year seven to Opal Coast. And I also went to Ypres in year eight, I think oh, it was, yeah. Yeah. for history trip, which was really interesting. Um, I'm Millie, I'm in year 12. I also went to Oval Coast, and it's a really good experience because it's nice to get away from, or well, not nice to get away from family, but it's nice to do something with your friends in a different country, mm -hmm. um, which I don't think you really get to do often in primary school, except from like smaller class trips. Um, so yeah, that's a really good experience, and so I definitely recommend it. 
Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm also in year 12 and I've also been on the Opal Coast in the Eep trip and I found it really fun and I really enjoyed going and being with all my friends. Um, hi, I'm Millie, I'm year 12. Uh, I also went on the Opal Coast trip in year 7. Um, I think it really helped like, um, reassure my friendships and build stronger relationships with other people in my year which really helped to make better friendships for further and keep them further down the school. Could I just ask you a question about getting ready for a trip? Um, how, if you're feeling a bit nervous and you think you might be homesick, how can you deal with that? Is it worth going on the trip? It's still definitely worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. worth going. Because yeah. um, even though you don't have your family around, you have so many friends and so, yeah. and also different people in your year, you sort of rely on them more and you build more friendships and you meet new people mm -hmm. that you wouldn't normally have met in your classes. Yeah, and yeah. if you have a teacher you like going, you can always talk to them and if you've got any worries or concerns, they'll answer it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it a trip for everybody, Opal Coast? Yeah, yeah yes. definitely. definitely. I think so. yeah. And how about in the sixth form? Have you had a chance to go on any trips or what is your, have you got any trips coming up? Going well, we we have, we're all <laughs> going to Kenya. Yeah, to build classrooms. So yeah. yeah so how exciting. When is that happening? It's going to happen the 17th of July, July. Yeah. yeah, for three weeks. <laughs> that sounds quite nerve-wracking. How are you dealing with your nerves before that trip? Gosh, um, well, there's so much preparation yeah, for that you, you kind of, for it. you don't really think about actually, mm. until close to the time I think it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you've got to, so you've got to get vaccines, you've got to get um, all your stuff that you're going to need, because going to a different country, <laughs> especially one like Kenya, which is completely different to the UK. You need more stuff and you need to be more prepared. But for France and um, mm -hmm. Eve, even, yeah. that was so much easier. It was nice sort of getting a feel for school trips without having to worry too much about all the different things you needed to manage. And yeah. we're doing a team building weekend before we go to Kenya, so we'll all get to know each other and everything, and the teachers yeah. and all of it then. So I think that will help with anyone who is struggling with the nurse books and they know everyone. Super, thank you. Yeah.